Okay, in this video, we are gonna be doing uh, Calc AB problem set number two. Uh, there's a link to the problems in the description, and there's also gonna be a link to the playlist of all the problem sets. Uh, we'll see how many that I get done. Um, all right, so let's take a look. Using a calculator, estimate f of 3.1 with the tangent line at x equals three for the function f of x is x to the one third cosine of e to the x. Write everything to three decimal places, store values as you go. All right, so I'm basically gonna screenshot my way through this. I have a lot of videos on how to use the calculator. You should definitely check those out. It's skills that you uh, really are gonna need as you go. Um, so here is what I did first. I defined the function, I found f of three. I stored that as b, uh, I don't know, because I think of the point as like a, b, which is why I stored it as b. Then I found the derivative at x equals three, I got uh, negative 27.307. Uh, I stored that as m for slope, because why not? Um, so then I had to write the tangent line. So my tangent line is uh, y minus 0.474, uh, equals negative 27.307 quantity x minus three. Three decimal places always, even though we're storing the value. So it's important, you have to store them on your calculator, but then when you handwrite them, you go to three decimal places. You can go to four if you're more comfortable with that, but you cannot do less than three. Um, correctly rounded or truncated, I recommend that you round because probably in life you're just used to rounding. All right, now we have to approximate the value of f of 3.1, which was kind of like actually the problem. Uh, so I took... I stored the uh, tangent line as t of x. Uh, so I said t of x is b plus m times the quantity x minus three. Again, make sure you really know how to use your calculator. And then I just found t of 3.1 is negative 2.257 because we're going three decimal places. And that is the first problem. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So my goal is for all these problem sets to take me less than 10 minutes to make a video on, which is why maybe I go quickly sometimes, but I'm gonna try to do one every day. That's uh, a lot of problem sets. So that's why they're gonna be short. All right, find the derivative of each of the following. Y equals cosine of X e to the X. All right, so that's uh, a product. So I'm gonna to need to use the product rule. So uh, we're gonna, okay, that's a little too much. Uh, so dy dx is, it's gonna be first cosine, derivative of the second, derivative of e to the X is e to the X plus second, which is e to the x, derivative of the first, so the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Then we just wanna clean this up, there's really not much you can do, you take an e to the x out of everything. So I'm gonna say dy dx is e to the x quantity cosine of x minus sine of x. Don't be afraid of using the product rule, right? You're just learning calculus, uh, you have to practice things, so you know any problem that you see and you can do, go for it. All right, the next one, uh, y is natural log of x over x cubed, so that's a quotient, we're gonna need the quotient rule. All right, so quotient rule, we're gonna have bottom, which is x cubed, derivative of the top is one over x, minus top, natural log of x, derivative of the bottom, which is three x squared, all over the bottom squared. So x cubed squared. All right, now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Uh, the numerator cleans up to x squared and then minus three x squared, natural log of x. The denominator becomes uh, x to the sixth. You look at that and you're like, everything has an x squared in it, so I'm gonna cancel the x squareds, and I'm gonna write my answer as one minus three natural log of x over x to the fourth. It's not pretty, but that doesn't really matter. We just have to find the derivative. All right, next problem is, find where the slope of y equals x cubed minus one over x squared plus three is equal to one third, and use your calculator to do it, which you definitely wanna do, because this is a gross problem otherwise. So the problem that we're trying to solve is really a dy dx is equal to one third. Um, and I'm just gonna screenshot what I did on my calculator. Again, lots of videos of how to do these things. You should definitely check them out because using your calculator is just fundamental to the course. So I just asked the calculator to solve when uh, d dx, the derivative of x cubed minus one over x squared plus three is equal to one third for x and it spit out the values. So then I would just write them down so x is approximately negative 0.785, x is approximately 0.522. So that's what we get for that. All right, next problem. Write down the derivatives of the trig functions, natural log of x and e to the x, use proper notation. All right, so this is a big deal. If you don't have these memorized, calculus will be much harder for you. So I'm stressing that in this problem set, it's not really a problem so much as if you didn't do it already, go back and memorize them. So here it goes. Um, 
The derivative of sine is negative cos. Oh, sorry. Geez, wrong right off the bat. The derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. Those are like the three fundamental ones. So one thing you will notice is that the derivative of co functions, functions that start with co, have negative signs in front of them. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. All right, now we need the derivatives of the other three. So uh, the derivative of cosecant, that's a co function, has negative. So it's negative cosecant cotan. The derivative of secant is secant tan. The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. Um, now, another thing that you might realize, or you may not, you can kind of group these. Um, so I'm putting boxes around the ones that kind of go together. So I know that the derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine. Those are kind of connected by cofunctions. You're basically swapping out all the cofunctions. And then when you took the derivative of a cofunction, you pick up a negative. Um, and so then if you look, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. The derivative of cotangent will be negative because of co. And then since we had secant squared before, we now have cosecant squared. So the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. The derivative of secant is secant tan. The derivative of cosecant is negative because of co, cosecant cotan. So like if you really remember sine, tangent, and secant, and then you remember this co and cofunction swapping thing, it's a little easier and you start to see the patterns as you go, but really memorize them all. And also I got the first one wrong immediately because my brain is weird. Um, but make sure you have these down. And then we need natural log and we need e to the x. Natural log has a little twist to it. Um, the derivative of natural log of x is one over x for sure, but really with the domain restriction that x is greater than zero because natural log has a domain of x greater than zero. So the derivative can at most have a domain of greater than zero. Um, so make sure you're including that and you don't lose a point. Um, and then the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, it's the best function. Um, so there you go. All right, that's this problem set. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.